Welcome guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how to do a music layering system. So, layer 1, see the overlap volume there as we go in. Layer 2, now layer 3. And then layer 4. And then as we go back out, Melody's gone, keys are gone, keys are back, <laughs> Melody's back. <laughs> you get the idea, right? Basically, as you overlap each volume, a new layer gets added to the song. As you leave the volumes, the layers get taken away. So that's what we're going to be building today. So if you don't want to go through the tutorial and you just want the file to just drop into your project and have it ready to go, there's a download link in the description. It's like five bucks. Um, all you need to do to set it up is just go to your player controller, whichever player controller you're using. Um, if you don't have a player controller, just go new blueprint class, click player controller, and then in the world settings, select your game mode and set your player controller to whichever player controller you've just created. And then inside your player controller, there's nothing in here, right? It's completely empty. All that's on it is just the music layering component, all right? So that'll be in the, the file that you download. Um, so just drop that folder into the content folder of your project. Click Add Component, Add a Music Layering Component. The layer list is just your list of songs. Um, and then just set the volume there. Um, so just set to 1. And then the starting song index is just whichever layer you want to start at begin play. All right, and then for the rest of the layers, whenever you want them to come in, just drag uh, a music layer toggle box into the world, and then over in the details panel, you just have a song to toggle option, right? So you set that to whatever you want, and then if it's set to one, then what happens is when you overlap that volume, when you overlap that volume, um, index one is going to be the song that's going to begin to play, and then when you leave that volume, index one will no longer play. So if you have multiple volumes inside of other volumes like this, as you enter the outermost one, one, song, one layer will play. As you enter the next one, the next layer will play while the old one's still playing and they continue to stack on top of each other and layer more and more and more and more. So super simple, download link for that is in the description. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment. But the rest of this video is going to be a tutorial on how to build this for yourself. So I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call this music layering and we're going to open that up and we're just going to create a new actor component and it's going to be an actor component that we're going to add to our player controller. So uh, blueprint class, actor component and just call this music layering component. And yeah, if you don't want to go through this tutorial, there is going to be a link where you can just buy this and chuck it straight in your project so it's ready to go. Um, now, let's add some music in first, actually. That's something that we should probably do. So uh, I, have, I have a couple of tracks here which I'm just going to chuck in. So I'm just dragging them into the content browser off my other monitor. Um, they're .wav files, .wav. All your music needs to be .wav. And with all these selected, so select, shift, enter. Um, you want to set looping to true. They all need to be looping. They all need to... Uh, this virtualization mode, that needs to be set to play when silent because they're all going to be playing at zero volume um, when we begin the game. So they're silent, but they're still playing. And that's how when we, when we set the volume, um, you know, from one, one of them... Like they're all going to be at zero. One of them will be playing at one. If you set another layer the volume of that to also one, um, it'll layer in over the top of the first one and they'll be perfectly in sync because they were all playing at begin play. So set that. Uh, the concurrency settings, you want to override concurrency and I think there is one other, one other thing that I wanted to do as well. Was it in modulation, sound wave? Um, I don't remember what it is, but let's just let's just roll with that. Let's just roll with that, and I'll figure that other thing out later. So they're all in there. This is what they sound like. So this is the bass. Right. 
right? Um, there's a kit. And a melody. And when they're all laid together... Right? So they're all individual layers and we're going to be layering them dynamically as the player moves through the game. Okay, so delete everything in here. Let's have a custom event. Right click custom event um, and this is going to be called... Actually, you know what? Let's just use begin play. Fuck it. Let's use begin play. Begin play. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable which is going to be um, or layer list. So this is going to be all of our sound layers, and they're all going to be sound, uh, sound base, I believe, type, and it needs to be an array. Okay, so I'll like that. Compile. Uh, that can be a public variable, and uh, go to category and put that into a public tab. Control drag, drop that in. Do a for each loop. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, play sound 2D, right? Because it's a it's a UI sound, like you want the volume to be consistent across the map. It's not going to have any attenuation. Um, volume multiply it. Let's have a variable for that and call this uh, starting volume. Or it doesn't even need to be starting volume. Perhaps it could just be um, volume. Because we might toggle that later and that can be a public variable as well. So let's just put that down there. Um, you can give it an owning actor if you want, but you don't have to. Now, play sound 2D. Uh, actually, that's not going to be in there because they're all going to. We want them all to start at zero at begin play. But let's just let's just see that this is working. All right. So let's um let's add this to our player controller. So I might just create a new player controller in here. So new blueprint class player controller and just call this uh, music layering player controller. PC for player controller and all you need to do is just go add component and then type in music layer and component compile save and you've got your settings up here okay so I'm just gonna add in uh, what cabin fever base all right just chuck that in now we need to set up the game to use our player controller so in the world settings uh, third person game mode is the one that the third person template uses and set the player controller to music layering PC and now if we jump in We got the music, right? So that's good to know. Uh, yeah, so what I might do now is just set the volume to zero on begin and let's let's populate that layer list with all of our songs. So if you click on your layer list, my face is over it at the moment, but in your variable tab over on the left, um, just add in... Actually, I wonder, I wonder. I wonder if I can just select all of these hit control C and then paste paste no I can't that's sad all right um, we're just gonna put them all in one by one that's fine uh, base uh, what kit mm, synth <laughs> boops and I think those are the four layers Okay, so they'll all be playing... Well, if we, if we plug the volume in at 1 and we jump in, nothing happens because in our music layering PC, um, we have an override set there. So let's return that to the defaults. Okay, and now that's set up like that. So now if I click play, we've got them all playing together. So now, on begin play, we want them to be playing at zero volume or disconnect that, there's probably a better way to do it. So they'll all be playing at zero volume at the start, and now we need to add events to change the volume of each of the tracks. Um, so how are we going to do that? Let's have a custom event down here, and this can be called um, toggle track volume, or what, set, set volume of track. Okay, um, now we're going to drag in our layer list, or maybe this could even be called what, start slash stop track. 
Um, we're going to get a copy from the list and we're going to plug the index into there and that's just going to be called index of song. Um, and if we want to set the volume of it, there's no volume option there. So instead of play sound 2D, we're going to need to use create sound 2D, I think. Yeah, so now we have a reference to the actual sound. Um, so same as before, just start at zero volume. And then what we're going to do is off of here, we're going to add this to an array. And this is going to be not layer list, but like, um, let's call it layer references. So these are the ones that you actually change the volume of. Okay. So on begin play, we're setting all of that up. So now, over here, instead of getting a reference from the layer list, we get a uh, reference from the layer references. So we'll get a copy, like that, and then we'll set the volume multiplier, and the new volume, we're going to use a select float, and it's either going to be zero for off or B for on, and on will just be the target volume, I guess, and we'll plug the boolean into there. So if it's A, uh, turn off, okay, so if turn off is true, it'll select A, which will be zero, if turn off is false, it'll select B, which will be a volume one, or whatever you've set it, you could have whatever volume you want, because that's a public variable, okay, so I think that's literally all we, <laughs> that's all we need to do, that's pretty much the whole system, um, so let's add in some overlap volumes in the game, so that we can run through the different layers and have it do some shit. So new actor, and just call this uh, music layer toggle BP. All right, and you can do this with a box collision. I might do this with a static mesh, um, and I'll show you why in just a moment. So static mesh, and I'll just call it overlap. Um, so that's our static mesh. Uh, I don't know, let's make it, you know, 10, pretty decently big. And I'm just going to put it up so it's equal with the ground level like that. And I'm just going to turn the collision off. So, or to overlap all dynamic, or overlap all, or whatever you want. Okay, so whenever we overlap that cube, it's going to trigger a new song, right? So I just like to have the mesh there so I can see, like, where it is. Um, so we'll have a big one like that. And you know what, we might even stretch it out all the way over. And I'm just going to put my player over here. And, oops. What we'll do is inside of it, oh, it's got shadows, that's awkward. I'm just going to have a smaller one. Oops. It is a bit hard to see what's going on here, isn't it? Oh, well, we've got a smaller one there, and then have another smaller one on inside of this as well. And each time we enter into a new one, it's going to add a new layer. God, I can't see shit right now. Maybe it would have been better to do this with um, overlaps. <laughs> you know what? I think I will. I think I will. Scratch everything that I just did. None of that ever happened. So we're just going to have a thing here called overlap. Overlap with a double P because the old overlap already had a name. Uh, 1,000, 1,500. And just move that up so it's on the ground level. And you can give these a billboard as well, so that they're um, they're easier to to grab. There we go, just like that little lizard dude, Lord Lizard. Okay, um, I'm going to delete all the music layers that we already had in there because they just look fucked up. And so now we have this one here. And you know what we might also do is we'll just go to overlap and turn off hidden in game, just so that we can see them. Alright, so that's one, two, three, okay, and I think we might have had four layers actually, now one of them will be playing at begin play, which is something that we should set up actually, so if we go back into our music layering component, um, as soon as we finish setting up these tracks, let's call the start stop event, start slash stop track, and let's promote this to a variable and call this starting song index. So this will be the song that will play as soon as the map loads up. Um, and we want to turn it on. Oh no, turn on. So 
Yeah, we want to set that to, to false. Okay, so the starting song will be index zero, and we have these volumes in the map. Let's just see that the starting song works. It doesn't. Um, what if we what if we set that to false? I wonder if it created a well, hmm. Weird, we got no music that time. Um, so that means that this here isn't working. So we're creating the sounds. I think we need to play the sounds actually. After you create them, you need to play them. Or do you? Create sound, play? Yeah, play, right, so we need that. Once you create it, you also need to play it. This um, this audio stuff is quite confusing. That's why, I, because I've done a tutorial like this before, but I thought I'd do another one because it's fucking annoying. Yeah, there we go. So now it's playing, and it's just gonna loop forever. Right. Um, so now that that's playing because of this, now what we need to do is add more layers when we enter this overlap volume here. So simple enough. Um, Whenever we begin overlap, right, so add on component, begin overlap, and we'll also add on component, end overlap, because we'll also have a stop event as well. <coughs> God, we're at 15 minutes already. Now, if the actor that overlaps it, uh, let's get the owner, which will be the player controller, if it's a player controlled actor, and get component by class. And if the owner, which is a player controller, has a component which is a music layering component, first we'll check is valid. So if it has a component, we'll go on and do the rest of this. But if it doesn't have a component, we won't do anything. <coughs> then what we'll do is we'll start and stop track. Okay. Now, all of this here, oh, we could collapse that to a function, but you know what, I'm not going to, let's just copy and paste it. Let's just copy and paste it. Okay, now promote this to a variable and just call this song to toggle, public variable. And that can be plugged into both of these nodes. Uh, and turn off when you end overlap, okay? So we're gonna comment this and call this toggle layers on begin and end overlap. All right, and then we just go and set this for each of the different um, volumes. So this one here, this one here, the first one could toggle song one. The second one here could toggle layer two. And the third one here can toggle layer three. So now if we jump in. That's the drum layer. And then. And then if we go back out, the beeps are gone, melody's gone, back to the bass. That's so sick. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Um, so that's basically done, right? Now, yeah, that's that's literally all there is to do. So if you want to change the songs, you go to your music layering component inside of your player controller, set them to literally any track you want. Um, I might I might do that now actually real quick just for just for the meme. So I'll just add in some more songs. Just cause the video is done, you can stop watching if you want. So I'm just gonna open the oh god no, I don't open them all in that. Open them all up, set them to looping, um, set the virtualization mode to play when silent. That's important, otherwise they won't play at zero volume. And the concurrency and things, that was um, 
that's just so you set override concurrency and there's another concurrency setting I can't remember what it was though but you have that set so that if there's a lot of sounds in the game it won't stop um, the music because if it stops the music they all get out of sync um, I had a video about how to fix that somewhere on my channel it's called set uh, music stopping when too many sounds or something like that so I might link that in the description if you want to have a look at that if you have that problem but yeah just to show you how easy it is to just change these songs like um, what did I call them we'll have bass guitar uh, drums keys and then uh, what melody and we're not going to use the fourth one we're only using the third the first four so bass Yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm going to leave that tutorial there, guys. If you have any questions about any of that, drop me a comment. Um, if you want to download these project files, um, there's a link for that in the description. And I think I might also do a part two, which will be an optional part, um, which will be a paid part for like five bucks. Um, which what I will try and figure out how to do right now is how to have this fade rather than just instantly set it. So if you want to enter in a new overlap volume, the next layer will fade in rather than um, just instantly cutting to the same volume or to top volume. So if you're interested in that, there might be a link for that in the description depending on if I do it or not. But <laughs> yeah, that's it guys. I'm going to leave that one there. Peace out.